some uh, cybernet radios with uh, one to one for the exports suffer with distorted gritty sounding audio SSB caused by a low bias in the RF output stage here because the outgoing signal is to distort. Yes, yeah, so a transistor required a minimum of around uh, 0 0.6 volts to conduct on the base. Signals below this level are clipped unless the transistor is biased to a conduction with a constant DC current. And now we will modify this. We will change the resistor number 40 from 27 ohms to 33 ohms like the set on, uh, on the schematic diagram and on the final we change the resistor 44 uh, from about um, 10 ohms to about 15 to 22 ohms I will look what I can find here Yes, okay, and now we are going to the schematic diagram here. This beautiful diagram is drawn by Rick Jackson from uh, Euro Radio Co. here. And we will go to the used parts here. Okay. Here we can see the pre-amplifier Q9 and the R40. And we can see the Q10 and here the R44 and the RVQ here for the bias setting. And now we will change this resistor here from 27 to 33 ohms like uh, in this schematic here. And we will change the R44 to an... 22 ohm resistors then we get more um, bias current between the emitter and the ground also here between the emitter of the preamplifier to the ground and uh, the current uh, must be about 50 milliamps here and 50 milliamps here and then we get a new cute modulation yeah, so here we have the Ham International uh, Multimode 2 radio with a PTBM 1214X board. Normally it's a, a 059 board here, and this one here is with a 121 board. And uh, is to change here the biasing resistor 10 ohms here at this place, the R44. And we can see here, uh, this is the R40 here, and this uh, is about 27 ohm is to change uh, with a 33 and ohm resistor. We can here set the biasing current to uh, 50 uh, milliamps. Okay, uh, to measure the emitter current here, biasing current, uh, we must remove here the leg, the emitter leg from the ground, from the board. Uh, this is the driver here, Q9, and we make this also at the final stage, Q10 here, and we will remove the leg here uh, from the board here, a little bit. Uh, okay with a solder iron here okay okay and we are on USB here and this is a, a short circuit block here makes me TX transmitting here without modulation here and I will point. Okay, okay um, now uh, we will uh, TX here, switch on the transceiver and we will look the bias current here on the 
driver here on Q9 here to the ground and to the emitter leg and we can see about 18 milliamps this is too low it's too low we need 50 milliamps it's because the 27 ohm resistor the faulty and we make the same here on the power amplifier uh, on the Q10 emitter leg and we have a 39 milliamps and the pot is fully counterclockwise here now we need a resistor between 15 and 22 ohms and the old is a 10 ohm resistor and now we will install um, a 22 ohm resistor okay now we will remove the 10 ohm resistor Q44 here and here and also the 27 ohm resistor the R40 and we will um, replace this with a 33 ohm type here okay okay resistor must going out here and here Pulling down here here okay and ah oh, okay we can see here uh, the 27 ohm resistor here 27 ohm resistor R40 and R44 10 ohm resistor yes this one is the new R44 22 ohms for Q10 here and this one here oh yes and this one here is the 33 ohm type for replacement the R40 okay we are sold here the resistor number 44 here here and here about 22 ohms okay we will switch on transfer here again and this is a bias current on Q10 about 36 uh, milliamps and we will uh, increase here on 50 milliamps turn 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 here a little bit TX again and look on the milliamp meter oh, not more then we need a little bit more here a little bit more about this and so we will find the setting point forty five forty six okay and a little bit more little 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 bit little bit more to get 50 milliamps here okay I think 50 milliamps yes 50 milliamps very good very good okay I'm resolder the leg of R44 here Cut off here the legs. Cut off. Uh, 
uh, okay the R44 is sold routine now and I will check the bias current here between the emitter and the ground here of uh, Q9 of the uh, driver here it must be about 50 milliamps I will TX now okay I'm TXing now and now I will check the current here showing on the meter okay it's good here about 50 milliamps very fine here very fine okay the modification is done now we we'll switch here on uh, for testing the transmitter we are on 28.305 here and this here is the power meter I will send now Audio, audio, audio. About the thirteen point five watts here. Yes. And now I will make the alignments, also the two tone settings for the transmitter section. And then I can operate with this beautiful multi mode radio. Okay. Thank you for the visit and see you again. Bye bye. 73s.